We often depend on people over whom we have no control but have responsibilities. And it is tough when those people let us down. But in reality though, people who are aggressive feel embarrassed and worried about the situation. So that to be in defensive mode is one of the ways for them to cope with those feelings. The irony is, if you want to help yourself to handle challenging aggressive team members, you should help them to move out of a defensive mode, to think sharper and to focus on the best possible outcome. I'm going to share with you three practical tips that might help you to handle your angry team members. The first one, acknowledge how it feels for them. It doesn't mean that you should hide your feelings, but you will make people less triggered once you signal that you understand that they didn't intend to cause the problem that is unfolding. The second tip is distancing. Take a time out for about 5-10 minutes to set the current situation aside. What is important right now? What is the outcome you want to achieve today? What is the best first step that you could take to move forward? Focus on solutions, not on blame. And the last tip, assume good person but bad circumstances. Think about possible reasons why the person might feel emotional today. He or she might have been stuck in the traffic this morning or had a challenging conversation with a client. Make a list of specific reasons that might be related to your current situation. Otherwise, the mind spirals out of control. I was wondering, Miss Happiness, how often do you get angry? Can you lose your temper? If you do, try some of my tips and let me know if they work.